Welcome to Aptera Bytes. So this is going to be a series of short videos talking about Aptera and other cars, including EVs and hybrids, with a focus on value. So today I wanted to talk about the dimensions of the Aptera. The Aptera is about 177 inches long, which is just under 10 feet. Compare that to one of the biggest cars out on the roads in recent memory, the 2021 Suburban, which came in at over 225 inches long, which was almost 19 feet. But when you compare it to something like the Model 3, which was 185 inches long, you can see that the Aptera is only about 8 inches shorter than the Model 3. I wanted to focus a little bit on the width of the Aptera, which comes in at about 88 inches wide, which is almost 7.5 feet wide. Surprisingly, that's about 7 inches wider than the Suburban, which is narrower than the Aptera, and about 6 inches wider than the Model 3. I wanted to look at some of the standard garage door sizes that are out there. So you can see that some of the older homes do have garage doors that are as narrow as 8 feet wide. And so you can imagine that it would be difficult to park a car that is 7.5 feet wide in such a narrow garage with only about 4 inches of uh, clearance on both sides as you try to park in the garage. The height of the Aptera is pretty standard at about 57 inches high, which is similar to the Model 3, but a good 18 inches shorter than the Suburban. The last thing that we wanted to talk about was the cargo capacity of the Aptera, which is about 25 cubic feet. You'll find that that's actually pretty good, although the Suburban does have 41 and a half cubic feet of space with all the seats up and up to a massive 144 cubic feet of space with seats down. You'll see that the Model 3 has only 15 cubic feet of space, so the Aptera has about 10 more cubic feet of space volume for you to store stuff in the back. Now compare it to my 2017 Jeep Compass, and you'll see that the Aptera has about 2 cubic feet less than that with all of the seats up. Compare it to the Bolt EV and EUV, and you'll see that the Aptera has about 8 to 9 more cubic feet of space than both of these cars. And remember that the Bolt EUV actually has less cargo space than the Bolt EV. The Aptera has more cargo space than the Telluride when the seats are up, as the Telluride has about 21 cubic feet of space, but can expand up to 46 cubic feet when the seats are down. The Sorento Hybrid, without the charging port, so not the plug-in Sorento Hybrid, but the normal Sorento Hybrid has as little as 13 cubic feet of cargo space, which is much less than what Aptera has, but it can expand to up to 73 cubic feet when you put the seats down. The Highlander, not the hybrid version, does have as little as 16 cubic feet, but can increase to 84 cubic feet of space when you put the seats down, which is actually quite massive. And then lastly, the Pathfinder, also not the hybrid version, has as little as 16.6 .6 cubic feet of space with the seats up, but can expand to up to 79 cubic feet with the seats down. So you can see that the Aptera actually has a lot of cubic feet when you compare it to other cars, but you have to remember that the shape of the car is going to be the, the main limiting factor in terms of what you can put into the trunk of the car. 